to make a vintage cameo cookie. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you a super easy cookie tutorial that you are going to use a paper template like this one to make your design. And I hope that with this idea I will spark your creativity so you can use this technique to make several designs of cookies just using a paper template. Okay, paper template, that's it. Okay, so I'm super excited to share with you and let's get started. I am going to show you two different ways on how you can use this beautiful silhouette template. First, you are going to use your template as a stencil and you are just going to need to flood your cookie, let it dry completely and then you're going to trace your template on your cookie using an edible marker. Then you're going to make the border with medium consistency icing and then you are going to flood your cookie and let it dry. For the other way that you can use this paper template is to make a royal icing transfer. For this you are going to need a baking tray, a piece of parchment paper, your template, a sharpie and flooding consistency icing. First you need to secure your paper with the magnets on the tray. Then you are going to trace your design using a sharpie. The magnets will help your paper to be very flat so your royal icing transfer can be even. Then, when you finish tracing your template on the parchment paper, you need to flip your paper so the sharpie won't be in direct contact with your icing. Now, you need to start by making the little edge on your design with your flooding icing and later on you will flood all the figure. I will let it dry at least 6 hours. Now I am going to take the royal icing transfer from the paper very carefully Now I am going to flood my cookie and I'm going to let it dry for like 2 minutes and then I will put the royal icing transfer. Now it's time to let dry your cookie completely. Also, if you want to decorate the border of the cookie, you can do it so. I will 
will show you another cookie design that I made using the paper template and also I'm gonna leave you some pictures of how I decorate a cookie box using the template. And this is it. This is super easy and if you need to make a lot of cookies of one design, this is a very helpful technique so all your cookies will look the same. of your cookies. I think so that when you pack your cookies in a clear container, it is super important for your cookies because you can see all the hard work that you put into it and you can show them right away. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me any comment, question or suggestion, follow me on my social media and don't forget that you always need to be super creative in your cookie decorating and in your baking. And See you all till next time. Bye bye.